So Anna doesn't need a psychologist to recall everything anymore, right? Why didn't you talk? Come on. I dare you to say something! <sighs> so this nightmare can finally be over. Mom, you should have some rest, at least on your birthday. Take a break, relax. So what do I do all day, sit on my hands? That's enough. The whole family will be here, including my sons-in-law, so I'm cooking for them. Mom, is not your son-in-law just yet. So what if you guys aren't married yet? I still see him as my son-in-law. What are you stirring in that pan? Oh, I'm excited having dinner with my family tonight. Why is the birthday girl cooking the food? Yana, how could you let her work? I tried stopping her, but you know it's useless. Okay, sit down, relax, I'll cook the food. <sighs> Luba, what happened? Did you and Petro get the marriage license? Luba! Yes. <laughs> we got our marriage license yesterday. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, Yuba. Thank you. So how does it feel? It's really weird. It's like, it's like floating on air. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi. Oh, Hello. Liuba. You're home already? Come on. How was it? Did you get it? <sighs> we got it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Congratulations. Liuba got you a present. However, here, I got you another gift. What is it? <gasps> What gift did you get her? The waiting is killing me. Soriana, thank you. It's so beautiful. Mm. Are you sure the gift's for her? Oh, and not my wedding gift? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh. I saw Mama Oya looking at gowns at the mall, so I bought this. <laughs> Mom, it's very mm -hmm. beautiful. Girls, let me mm -hmm. try it on. Mm -hmm. <gasps> the food. Ah, is the invitation to Olya Valentinivna's birthday still valid? Yes, but we sent her a present instead and said we weren't coming anymore. We decided we won't trouble her by having more guests. It's not a milestone. Mm -hmm. It's her birthday, nothing special. We do it every year. Then I'm not going either. I'll send my present through Dennis and Anna. It's embroidered tablecloth. Oh. <gasps> wow, tablecloth. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Hi, son. Hello. Good morning. Hello, my love. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I just came from my therapist's office. <sighs> mm. And how did it go? Well, we had a nice session. Artur Yosipovich gave a few things to work on, gave me some good advice, and booked the next appointment. I can go back to work. In fact, he insisted. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think it's a good idea to go back to work yet. <laughs> Where are you going all dressed up? Some errands, you? I'll pick up my guitar. I was invited to a birthday party. Mm -hmm. Petro. What is it? Danilo came home last night and immediately started asking questions about his mother. I know it's none of my business, of course. But maybe it's time to tell him the truth. The boy is going to visit his mother's grave, yet we know his mother's still alive. Maybe we should tell the truth. Maybe it's time to let him know. You always say people deserve to know the truth, right? Stick by it.
If she remembers everything, why didn't she tell everyone? Why would she wait? You promised to return this to Yana. Um, well, I forgot about that. I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Don't worry about it. I can do it today at your mom's party. We'll give it there. We're going, right? So are we going or not? Of course we're going. It's my mom's birthday party. My therapist said I need more positive emotions. Jumpers are the season's trend right now. You can wear them to a business lunch or a meeting with friends and family. They sell really well today. Well, I'll take two, okay? What an excellent choice. Uh, what size should it get? Uh, a big one and a bigger one. <laughs> you mean L and XL, right? Whatever fits. It looks good. It's very stylish and really empowering. I see. I'll even give you a discount for that. Believe me, it's a real bargain. I'll give you the best price for this one. Is it bronze? Yes, it is. I'll buy this masterpiece instead. Mm, I'm sorry, the griffin isn't for sale. It's a part of our interior design. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure about that. Nonsense. It's displayed right here. How much is it? Jana! Jana! Hmm? I figured it out. Oh god, what did you figure out? I know what our bakery's name is. Listen to me. Tell me. For dessert. I don't know. That sounds kind of bland. Well, I think I think it sounds quite engaging. It sounds tasty. For dessert. We need some more edge, more attractiveness. Something sexy like, for example, Zana's dessert. Why not just call it Jana? I know it's disgusting, but at least it's decent. For dessert? It's a deal? It's a deal. It doesn't sound that bad. We need to start renovations really soon. Mm -hmm. Our family is in the construction business, right? So, let's choose the best team for the project, and the best materials possible. If we ask Ryuri Markovich or Dennis for help, everyone will find out about our bakery. We <laughs> wanted it to be a surprise. We don't need help from anyone else. Hannah's workers will turn it into the perfect bakery we dream of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then let okay. them do it. Oh, I don't like the way they look. What is that? Pastries? <laughs> I made these for a tasting session on our dessert and hot drinks in our oh. menu. As Carolina always says, we need to gather a focus group. <laughs> That's right. Zoriana, wrap it up with these glasses. Mm-hmm. And it's done. Thank God we made it. I'll get it. Hello. Hello. <clears throat> Come in. Oh, thank you. Hello, Petro. Good afternoon. 
Olive Valentilevna, I'm wishing you a happy birthday. We wish you happiness and strong health and wealth. To be honest, you're the best chef I've ever had to work with. Here you go. Thank you, Petro. It's a notebook. I noticed that yours is quite old and worn out. <laughs> she'll take a good look at it after dinner. I know she'll like it because we chose it together. Why don't we sit down first? Of course. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, mm. sit down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Thank you for the flowers and presents, guys. I really appreciate it. I really like the vase, Andre. And that new notebook, too. You're welcome. I'm glad you like the vase I gave. Yes, I'll get it, I'll get it. It must be Anna and Dennis. Wow. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, Yana. Hello. Olya Valentinivna, I'm wishing you a happy birthday. First of all, we wish you good health. And the Dobrovolsky send their greetings, of course. They hope you like the presents they bought for you. Thank you, Dennis. And tell Riori and Katerina Ivanivna that I said thank you to them. Of course. Happy birthday, Mom. Thank you, baby. <laughs> I wish you happiness. Well, come on. Sit down. Come on. Thank you. Hey. <sighs> well, help yourselves. Sweetie, how do you feel? I'm fine, Mom. Olya Valentinivna, you look fantastic. You look like Anna and Yana's sister. You're exaggerating. Still, thank you for the compliment. Come, let's go eat. Okay. Here's the toast. Halia. <laughs> 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 oh. Halia, you're a dream come true. You're spoiling me every day. Mm. How else should you be treated? I truly love you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> How are your friends? How is Anna and Yana doing? They're doing fine. Why do you even care? Hmm? <laughs> I heard about Anna's breakdown at the shooting. Oh, it was horrible. Nobody expected this. It's all because Yana mixed up all the scripts. And they tried to blame me, even though I'm not at fault. Oh, honey. Yana, Anna's sister. Did she and that director, Andre, get married already? Uh, well, no. They're holding back for some reason. <laughs> so, um, did you notice something going on between them? Between Anna and this director? Well, what they have is really complicated. They look at each other as if they were sworn enemies. Something is not right there. I'm sure of that. Like enemies, huh? Why are you so interested in them? Why do you care what's between them, hmm? Hmm. I don't care about any of them except you. Hmm. Don't worry, love. Can you bring him some more orange juice? I'll even get you a star if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Liuba. Huh? Is it love or Liuba? <laughs> Your name means love. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious, Olya Valentinivna. You're the best cook ever. Well, all the girls cooked our dinner. Liuba, Zoriana, Yana. Mm -hmm. They didn't let me anywhere near the stove today. Mm, no, my mom cooked some, but I told her to relax on her birthday and enjoy her present instead. Am I right? Absolutely. I totally agree with Andre. Everything was delicious. Yes, Mom, it was really great. You barely touched your food. Okay, let me change the mood. It's time for dessert. Whoa, my favorite part of dinner. And Petro will sing something more cheerful. Just hold on. You got it, honey. Okay. Baby, um, come with me. I want to visit my old room. Dennis, Anna looks very pale. Is she sick again? No, she got up in a good mood. All is well. Oh, 
Ой, чорна я си чорна, чорнява як цига. Maybe it's something valuable. What could it possibly be? You can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Are you pulling a prank on me? You said it was something precious, but this is just a plain scarf. What are you saying? Don't you remember the scarf, no? Don't you remember that you made it for me? That's why it's something precious. I remember making a present for my fiancé. Are you okay? You have no appetite and you're not in the mood. How am I supposed to have an appetite if my own sister is setting me up? Set you up? No, sister. It was just an unfortunate accident. I have explained it to you and apologized. Do you know what that accident cost me? Well, what can I say? It was a bad mistake. But don't worry, it'll settle itself. Settle itself? Um, well, I know that you are used to everything being perfect to you, and I know you've always been a bore taking everything very seriously. But you know me like you know yourself. Therefore, you know who I am. I'm very stubborn and restless. I'm really pretentious because I love whiskey and expensive clothes. I always create problems for everyone, and everyone creates problems for me, right? Can you please tell me the truth? What's going on? Do you remember everything? Does it really matter? I'm permanently Anna. Even if my memory comes back, it won't change anything. Tell me the truth. Do you remember everything? Why do you care? Don't you see what's happening? I don't see it. Explain. Well, you are so full of life here. I'm worried about you, sis. Wherever you are, you create problems. I'm sorry that you're worried. But not for me. You're hiding something. I can feel it with how you act. How about a confession? A confession? About what? All of my problems are because of you. You were driving on the day of the accident. I got hurt and barely survived because of you. And I lost a year of my life because of you. Thanks to you, I had a concussion. And I don't remember anything anymore. If you only... If you only admitted what you've done, I'd have a chance, a hope. But you... You said nothing. That's why I hate you. I really hate you. Girls, what's going on here? Don't you dare say I ruined your career. I'm not going to have any of it. Anna, what happened? What happened? She doesn't recall anything. So everything's fine. At the moment. What's going on? Oh, apparently the sisters are fighting again. I've never seen Yana so mad since after the accident. When will you ever finally stop fighting, huh? You are sisters. You're family. Yana is ungrateful and shameless. Anna, why are you doing this? It's your mom's birthday. Yana blames me for driving the car on that fatal day. She said I was the one who ruined her life. She doesn't remember. She forgot how our family saved her and nursed her back to health. She's really ungrateful. That's not what I heard. You're blaming her for what happened on the show, even though it was nobody's fault. Are you defending Yana now? Don't you feel sorry for me? Anna, please stop it for the sake of your mother.
Here. Thank you. You're welcome. That was awkward. <sighs> Fighting in front of everybody, spoiling Mom's party. What were you guys fighting about? I hate her. She ruined my life. She is happy with Dennis and I... <laughs> what about you? I said I hate her, but I actually envy her. I know envy is an ugly feeling, but I can't help myself feeling it either way. Try this. I'll give enough cake for everyone to eat. It's delicious and healthy and everyone can eat it. Even your parents and Katarina Ivanovna, I'll give them a cake. Please give some cake to Jana. I'd like to know her professional opinion. Thank you so much. Yes. Now, the salad. There's no mayo in it. Mom, that's enough. Do you think the Dobrovolskis are starving? This is too much. Um, Dennis, this is... My signature dish, it's beef with cherry leaves. Mm -hmm. It's my pleasure eating the delicious food you prepared. And my parents and grandmother will really appreciate that you cooked for them. Olga Valentinivna, I must say that you and your helpers are true culinary masters. Dennis, please give my greetings to your parents and tell them I appreciate their gifts. I will. Thank you. I'm glad that you found a nice job, Hannah. What do you do now? I told you I was mediating a big deal, and this is just the beginning. Land of milk and honey awaits for us. Don't you worry. I mean, look at you. It looks good. I knew it would fit the moment I saw it, and I bought this for Petro to make him look more respectable. No, oh, thank you. Oh, why don't you take a picture of me with our new bronze friend? Okay? Okay. Smile. Ah. Can you see my gold chain? Hannah, anyone can see it from a mile away. Yeah. And now this way. It's okay. Hannah. Hello, Jana. Yes, pretty lady. I know, missed you too so much. No, 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 it's okay. You called me in time, it's okay. I just came home from the mall, so talk to me. Oh no, we shouldn't wait for that. How about we talk about it? Over a good dinner in a restaurant. My treat, of course. Okay, then it's settled. <laughs> Catch me if you can. <laughs> Come here. Huh? <clears throat> Come here. Hey, 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 take it easy. <laughs> it's like we are we are an old married couple. <laughs> you are a wise and smart lady. Always have a clear vision of things. Dreamed about you all my life. Oh, did you? Mm. Oh. <laughs> hey, are you insane? Calm oh. yourself oh. down and be quiet right now. Why are you acting so bossy? Mama Olya's upset. Uh -huh. Smarty pants. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Luba. Come on, Mama Olya is upset. She doesn't feel like having fun. Mm -hmm. Olya Valentilivna, thank you for the delicious dinner. Don't worry about Yana and Anna. They will go through it as a family. I should get going. Thank you again for taking good care of me. I will see you at work. <sighs> Is Olya Valenta Livna asleep? Yes, she took a sleeping pill. So she could rest. Would you like some tea and cake? 
You didn't have the dessert. Thank you. Hmm? But I have to go now. You girls just enjoy it for me, okay? Yes. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, Petrol. Yes, babe? Hmm. Yes. Did you see that? When Dennis is about to leave, she's prepared some food for him to take. But when Petra's about to leave, she didn't even care. What are you saying? Mm -hmm. You know that Mama Ola is very upset. You saw the state she was in. This is delicious. The cake is so moist, it's mouth-watering. Mm. It's great. Super, mm -hmm. super. Mm. <laughs> Why do you guys look so odd? Are you up to something? What's going on, you two? Us? You're seeing things. We're not up to something. <laughs> mm-hmm. Gran? What? Hmm? What is it? That's what. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello, hello. Sit down. Sit down. Tell us about the party. How did it go? No, oh, it was really great. Delicious food, homey atmosphere, and, uh... And this. This is from the birthday girl. She sends her greetings. Oh. You're having a party of your own. They're eating. We're not eating. We're only tasting it. We have a house full of fancy food and a lovely pantry. Well, let's use that for the office tomorrow. Can I take some of this to the office tomorrow so I can bring something for my colleagues? Anna, are you sure you're fit to go back to work tomorrow? I am, absolutely. Excuse me. Den, come on, eat something. Try this one. And I'll take this. And this? Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Yuba, what's that for? Are you going somewhere? I, uh... Oh my god. That was a hell of a party for me. The girls are having tantrums. And as soon as I fell asleep, you started banging plates loudly in the kitchen table. My Petro went home hungry. He didn't eat much. I want to bring him some good food from the party, if that's okay. Yes, of course it's okay. By the way, it's unfair to Petro. You gave Dennis and Anna so much food, but you completely ignored Petro. You didn't even say goodbye. He's your guest here too, you know. And soon he'll be my husband and your brother-in-law. <laughs> Thank you for taking me out for a walk. And thank you for coming with me. <laughs> We're being extra sweet today. After Zana's tasting party, I'm so full. <laughs> I really needed to walk. Zana was at her best today. <laughs> yes, those things are delicious, but they're too heavy on calories. We won't be eating anything else today. Mm -hmm. Maybe some kefir. Whatever you say, my lovely queen. Listen. What? I'm worried about Anna. I'm worried that she's just pretending. She pretends to be cheerful and careless, but in fact she's nervous and frustrated. I can't forget that I caught her taking a bath in her evening dress either. We should call her therapist and ask whether she can really go back to work tomorrow. Yes, I'll call him in the morning. Right. People can still remember her scandal. She should give them more time to recover. I don't understand her rush to go back to work either. No. Let's do what you said earlier. Let's see what the therapist will say. 
Listen to me carefully, Victor. Don't you dare call me whenever you feel like it. I did not forget it. I'm still working on it, okay? I'll give you your money. I'm doing everything to pay you back as soon as I can, so don't worry. Yes, Mom. I'll talk to Yana, okay? Don't worry, we'll make up soon. Just enjoy your day. Yes, I love you too, Mom. My mom called to say how much she liked the tablecloth. Your grandma embroidered for her. I'll go tell Katerina Ivanovna. I'm sure she'll be pleased. Idiot! Who wasted a bunch of money on this thing? And what are we supposed to do with it? Danny! Here's your key that you have! Ooh. Mm. Hi, darling. I brought something for you to eat from the party. Uh. I don't want my fiancé starving, so I brought some. Luba, we just eaten earlier, so... You can... you can always eat some more. Oh, thank you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what is this statue? Uh. No, of course, it's very beautiful, but... What will you do with this huge statue? It's too big for your house. My friend bought it. What am I supposed to do with it? Well, I just can't uh, throw it away. It's heavy. What's all of these, then? Are you getting ready for family life we wanted? Oh, uh, where did you get all of this money? When is this friend arriving? Soon. Mm -hmm. He'll be here soon. After 10 minutes. Here we are at the mansion. I promised I was going to take you to a more fancy restaurant frequently, but they didn't have the free tables, but I talked my way through. I said to them I have a very important meeting, and they agreed. Oh, I love being spontaneous. So, what do you say having a high-quality bottle of champagne? That's great. Hey, you know I have a bunch of ideas for our bakery, but I'd like to talk about the renovations and construction first. Calm down, my darling. I'm so tired working all day. Let's talk about something nice and relaxing. We have all the time tonight. Calm down, Jana. Let's just enjoy, hmm? Mm. Come on. So how was it? Does it go with your taste buds? It does, but I don't eat after six now. I leave it for tomorrow morning and, uh... What? My friend is coming soon. I might give some to him. I see, okay. Should I go home? I'll walk with you, darling. It's dark outside. Does your friend know that you're about to get married? And will this move out by then? This one? Uh-huh. Yeah, he will. Mm -hmm. He... he definitely will.
I remember making a present for my fiance. Are you okay? You have no appetite and you're not in the mood. You're hiding something. I can feel it with how you act. How about a confession? Marketing study of customer. Motivation is important. Customer motivation is the first step. It's late, what do you want? Yana, how is mom doing? Are you still mad at me? Mom and I are fine. Yana, did you... recall something in your past I need to know? Maybe some details? Anything you can think of? I dream about getting my memory back day and night. If that happens, you'll be the first to know. I promise. It's getting late, time to go to bed. Is something wrong, Anna? No, I'm just, I'm just having a massive headache. Maybe because the weather is changing. Wait here. Here you go. <sighs> Thank you. Tell me the truth. What's going on? I hate her. She ruined my life. She is happy with Dennis and I... What about you? I said I hate her, but I actually envy her. <sighs> Did she recall everything? Mom. You have to understand, I can't just sit and idle by. I need to work on something. Honey... You... you really just have to wait. Let everything settle down first and be forgotten. You can't afford to be upset right now. I can't wait long enough. I'm strong and I can handle it. My mom is my role model and she's strong. She raised three kids alone with no help. In fact... She raised Liuba, too. Do you understand? Of course I do. And also... I don't want to be just the wife of Mrs. Janice Dobrovolsky. I want to be a person everyone loves. A... Uh, a person you would be proud of. Anna, you know we love you and are very proud of you. I love you, too. <laughs> Sweetheart, look, just relax. Everything will be fine. Now it's time to go to bed. It's getting late. <laughs> come on. Come on now. Thank you for meeting with me at this early hour and such short notice. How is Arana doing so far? Do you think she's ready to go back to work? I don't discuss patients with third parties unless it's urgent. It's doctor-patient privilege. I'm not asking for any major details, don't worry. I just want to know if... she's eligible to go back to work without any psychological recovery. 
I'll be honest with you, Anna needs more external support for her mental health. But the question is, with whom? Anna went through a lot of stress, and it's important for her to avoid situations that could throw her off the center of her sanity. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Um, are there people in her office who wanted to hurt her, or envy her at least? Um, I don't think she has. I'm not familiar with her work environment. Mm-hmm. Well, if her relationships with her colleagues are good and healthy, I don't see why she can't participate again in her working environment. But she'll keep seeing you, right? Of course. For more than a month. Don't worry, if I see Anna is overstretching herself again, I'll immediately advise her to take a break from work. Thank you. Thank you, Arthur Yusipovich. Always at your service. Don't rush to go to work. You should take care of your health. Look at Carolina. I always tell her that career shouldn't be the number one priority. Yes, Grandma. I can't stay an idol at home anymore. I need to do something. I've had enough rest already. I'm in great shape. If you could only see yourself in that bath wearing an evening gown. Grandma, I don't think we should talk about this. <sighs> Good morning, family. Are you going back to work? Aren't you going to eat? Yes. Honey, make sure you stick to your therapist's recommendations. Yes, of course. Have a nice day, kids. Thank you, you too. Bye. See you tonight. Mom, what was this about? Do you know something we don't? I was at Anna's therapist. He said she could go back to work. Yana, you did a great job on this report. Thank you. I need more information about our work in Silicate Bud. Mm-hmm. Okay, what exactly do you need? Which products are most popular and what had been done to promote them successfully? Mm-hmm. Nazar Olena, please help Yana find her information she needs for this study. <sighs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get coffee. Shall I bring you one? I don't drink coffee.